This is the city of Beth Shan, or Beit Shan as they call it over here, the House of Tranquility. Where I'm standing right now as I turn the camera around, this is a complete gladiatorial combat arena here in Beit Shan. That means that Beit Shan was a big city because they had gladiators, they had chariot races in another uh, circus, they also uh, had a huge normal theater, which is one of the biggest ones in the area, where that would seat up to 15,000 people. It was quite a place, this place, Beth Shan. And in this arena, during the Great Revolt, when the Jews actually rose up against the Romans in 66 AD, sometime between 66 and 70 AD, a number of Jews were hand rounded up and put into this arena. In this arena, in fact, when I say a number, a huge number, about 35,000 died right here where I'm standing. But it doesn't end there because sometime before the time of Constantine in this same place, over 24,000 Christians also died for their faith during one of the persecutions, during many of the persecutions. It was here they were executed. Well, I mention this only because not that this is a place of tragedy, which it is, but for us to remember our heritage. Can you name any of the people that were here? Really, nobody can, but they died here and they led us on the way to the faith that we believe now. This is our heritage, and those, they were our leadership. Not big, flashy pastors that might be in a pulpit, or even pastors, God help me, like myself. But you know, they were just people without names, slaves and, and uh, craftsmen, and people that just wouldn't make Caesar Lord. Only Jesus was Lord. Well, this is the gladiatorial combat arena, where nameless people bought our faith for the future. So many times, we're simply worried about loss of our conveniences. We live in such a prosperous country in a prosperous world. That played out so, so tragically in our own lives with Y2K, where people freaked out and were just absolutely panicky about losing only one thing, their conveniences, not their lives. These people put their lives on the line. I think it's absolutely glorious that when the Puritans came over to the United States before it was the States, just a big open continent, that they brought with them two books, the Bible, which is the book above all books, and Fox's Book of Martyrs, so that they could remember where they came from and the price that was paid that they could be there. This is Beit Shan. This is one of many, many gladiatorial combat arenas and circuses all over the Roman world, where Christians of no name but your future. God bless you. Something to chew on.